Okay, so in this video we're going to be checking out this uh, prototype 3-inch ultralight micro from uh, coming from Newbie Drone. It's not out yet. This is a prototype. I'm not 100% sure exactly when this will be out. I am told it should be sometime um, perhaps uh, in a few weeks from now. I, I'm not 100% sure. I do know that the stack that's in here, the Hive 16, is um, already available for pre-order. So the stack is a 16 by 16 stack. I'll talk about that more here in a second. The frame here is called the Limitless Frame. It's a three inch micro frame uh, with uh, basically it's a pretty simple frame. You've got the boomerang arms here and two sandwich plates that uh, basically mount the 16 by 16 stack as you can see there. And then there's this little TPU canopy that houses the camera and then holds the VTX antenna. It's a pretty simple design, uh, fairly lightweight with these, uh, these are the hype train motors, the 1104 7500 kV motors with the Gemfan 30, it's got 3025 five blade props. Um, yeah, that uh, comes with these uh, 350, well, this is what it was sent along with it, with these Nitro Nectar 350 2S LiPos. It's the stack's designed to run on 1S or 2S and uh, it comes with a 6030 back here. And the stack is kind of interesting. There, there isn't really anything out there in that class currently. Uh, it's a 4-in-1 ESC 12 amps Beelhelly S D-Shot 600. And then uh, the second board is going to be your flight controller uh, plus your receiver. So it does come with a FreeSky SPI receiver built in to the uh, flight controller board. And then the third board the very top board is going to be the video transmitter that also has the uh, Betaflight OSD on there as well. Uh, the flight controller is an F4. Um, the video transmitter does 25 and 200 milliwatts power switchable. And it has smart audio, so it is pretty feature packed. I believe the only thing that's kind of in the, in the range of, of this in, in terms of, I guess, you know, being a 16 by 16 stack is the Super S stack. For the Super SF4, that is only up to 5 amps uh, for 2S, and it's only a uh, 4 and ac And for flight controller, you would have to add your video and transmitter and receiver separately, so that does add more weight and more wiring. Now, the three boards here are attached for you, some M2 standoffs and a bunch of pins. Some people are going to like that, and some people are, are not going to like that. Uh, obviously, going with the pins cuts down on wiring, cuts down on weight. Uh, and also makes it a very small form factor, it keeps it in within the 16 by 16 form factor. So if that's what you're looking for for your really tight builds, pins are really the only way to go. Obviously, if you uh, don't like pins because of crashes and such, uh, with the pins breaking, that could be a downside. I did have a few minor crashes while flying this around, um, but no damage yet. Keep my fingers crossed. Uh, there is a, I think it's some sort of a newbie drone type of CMOS camera here. Just plug into the side of the video transmitter board. And uh, you can use a different camera if you want. There's solder pads for that. There are also solder pads for different receivers. So if you want to use a different SBUS receiver, uh, IBUS like for FlySky or Spectrum, or even Crossfire if you want to fly this long range, uh, there are solder pads on the flight controller for that as well. The flight controller has two UFL connectors for two antennas because the receiver is um, uh, basically it has a diversity setup here. It is a D8 receiver, however, but it does send telemetry back to the flight control or back to the transmitter. I haven't really dug into that too much here in the preliminary uh, look at this. And but the uh, antennas do come out here and they've zip tied them to the arms like this. I didn't have any issues with fail safes or range or anything like that. It seemed to be fine. And for park flying. Okay, now in terms of the weight, I'm sure everyone's curious what this thing weighs. Yeah, let's see here. And we're coming in at about 59, just a little over 59 grams with the battery strap. And I did swap out the battery strap for something a little bit smaller. Uh, I did originally come with a newbie drone battery strap here, and I think it's toilet tank style mounted. I just put a smaller one on here because I. Uh, the really big one was kind of unwieldy. Uh, so this one was fine. It's, you don't really need much to hold on to this little tiny 350 milliamp or 2S LiPo. Plus you want, you want to try and keep the weight down as much as possible. Uh, flight characteristics are pretty interesting. They did come with a tune. Uh, they, you know, these are test samples so you know it's not totally refined. 
you'll see in the flight demo that uh, it does need a little bit of work in terms of when you're going full throttle at lower voltages, uh, you get a lot more drifting and stuff. Um, uh, that's kind of normal. Uh, it did come with a 3.4 in here, and this is all like pre-production prototype type stuff, so like the firmware isn't updatable. So I was kind of hoping to go to 3.5 and like play with the some like some of the more tuning, the more uh, some of their tuning settings in 3.5, like the feed forward, etc., and also uh, anti-gravity. Uh, but I'll try and mess around with this for a future video. Maybe get see if I can get a firmware update for the board that I have. Uh, see if I can get a better tune on this. But in terms of like uh, straight line flying uh, at the beginning of the battery, it's pretty impressively fast. Uh, but as is typical for something of this kind of setup here, you know, high KV motor, 2S setup, you know, 1104, not a whole lot of torque on the low end. So uh, if you're going to be racing this in a very tight track with a lot of turns, this is. Uh, not the, I guess, this wouldn't be my ideal setup. I would probably go for something a little bit different. Uh, maybe, uh, yeah, well, you can't go 3S in this, but maybe like an, uh, a tri bladed prop, perhaps something like a two and a half inch, um, not necessarily three inch here, something like that. I might, might try something like that out to see if that gives you uh, better results on, on turning. Uh, for straight line speed, this three inch prop is very fast, and you'll see that in the, in the flight demo if you just burst down to the end of the park, it will get there quickly. Uh, it didn't do any speedometer or radar gun test or anything like that, but yeah, you can tell, you can just tell from the video that it looks pretty fast. And it's pretty quiet too. Obviously 2S spy blade props here, you know, all lightweight. Pretty interesting, uh, I think for this class of micro, I don't see a whole lot of these these days. I think uh, uh, maybe a while back, a year or so, I, I, thought, I, thought, I thought I saw a bunch of people making these sort of ultra light uh, skinny three inch micros and uh, I think everyone kind of went to the bigger three inch micro setups uh, more recently to I mean everyone's sort of abandoned the 1104 motors and now are going to you know 1407, 1408, 1507 type motors and, uh, instead of it weighing 60 grams those things probably weigh three times as much now 180 grams so something like this is completely in a, a totally different class from a lot of the three inch micros that you see right now with the heavier setups like the Acrobat with the giant motors and HD cameras, etc. This is more of a park flyer and uh, you know, uh, whipping around the park at, at very fast speeds and mostly straight lines. So if you're looking for that, then I think this is something you might want to take a look at later. Uh, again, I don't know when it's coming out. The stack is available for pre-order now and I don't see the frame available for pre-order yet. So. It just looks like uh, they're going to be putting out the stack first, and then the this complete build here as a package, I think, will be coming out in a few weeks. So I'll probably have some more videos on this later. Yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions and or if you want to see something in a future video, and I'll try and make that happen as I continue to play around with this. Maybe I'll tweak a little bit more, try some 2 inch drops, uh, whatever, see how this thing goes. But uh, so far, I like it, and I'm looking forward to seeing what else this thing can do. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, show you the flight demo now. This is actually pretty fast. Yeah, it's fast. I think because of the two bladed props and also the high KV motors, even though it's on 2S, but it doesn't have a lot of uh, throttle authority. feel like I'm uh, pumping the throttle a lot just to just to kind of fly it whereas something with a with a bigger motor I would probably have a little bit more torque it's not bad considering the weight of everything here Coming out of dives and stuff, it's a little hairy. This is about what I expected though. For something like this, 2S ultralight. Yeah, 
Yeah, coming out of those power loops is a little, they have to come out a little bit quicker. And it is a bit floaty. Well, it's not super fast, but it's decently fast for 2S. Crash. Okay, so it took that hit okay. The camera's okay. It's a little overcast. Could be worse. I don't really know. We don't really know uh, if the camera is going to be included or not. As I said before, this is a prototype, so the details are a little sketchy. And I'm just going with the tune that they provided. This is not a default tune. And I think I'm at the end of this battery. Okay, I'm going to do another battery and just do a little more speed runs in this, this one here on a full battery. You can see major battery saggage there all the way down to 7 volts. It does recover. The speed's pretty decent. Show that the battery recover a little bit here, and then I'll try another one. Whoa, a little bit of dipping there. I think as the battery sagged, it dipped a bit there. Yeah, you know, just need a little bit of tuning on the eye gains. Definitely does a lot of drifting. It's pretty quick though, considering. On straight runs, at least. There's some major saggage there. 6.5 volts. Does recover. But yeah, on the, this is the 350 milliamp hour LiPo they provided. Probably, if you're, if you're flying like this, you're going to get a short flight time. As you can see, as the battery voltage drops, uh, it, uh, yeah, the lack of eye gain there does come into play. I think you probably need to add more anti-gravity. You can see it just starts drifting all over the place. A little bit more than it did uh, when the battery was not sagging as much. So I think I'll end the speed runs. Think about two minutes on flying like this is probably your limit. Or we at seven volts. Yep, I think that's it. And for this battery, seven volts. About two minutes of flight. Yeah, you can see the camera looking in the sun. It gets a little bit darker, but it's not as bad as some other CMOS cameras I've seen. This is a tiny whip style camera though.